Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to fix instant object material problem when you are using 3D Studio Max and D5 render. So all these renders are the final images of my one of my projects. So in this project there are a lot of different furnitures, different materials and different designs. So as you see, this is the draft render of in D5 and in 3D Studio Max, it's supposed to have different colors on the ceiling features and also on the flooring, it should have different finishes. As, and also in this area, there are different types of seatings, different ottomans and they are assigned with different textures but in this render in this draft render they came out with one material as you see here in 3 studio maps i assigned different materials for the cushion seats but when i export and render in d5 it became like this because the d5 take it as one object because all those cushions are in instance i copy them in instance so let's fix that problem so i will show you how to <coughs> solve this problem in two ways two methods so let's go for the first method the first method is simple so first of all you have to select all those instance then right click and convert to a little poly so the concept is very simple you just need to convert all the instance material or all the instance objects into editable poly so that they became individual unique objects so they were not linked with other furnitures even though they are in the same shape same type so that is the concept so here, same thing, select all the different or the same instant objects and right click, then convert to editable poly. So that is the first method. So for this area, I will do the same thing. So just select the object and then right click, convert to editable poly. Alright, all right. so as you see, we in when, when we are using 3D Studio Max, we will need to copy them as instance because if, I, if we change one object, the other things will change. So here also the same thing. It's supposed to have the yellow, <coughs> sorry, the orange color on the ceiling and the flooring also supposed to be an orange color and on the left side it's supposed to have the blue color carpet and a blue color ceiling feature but in d5 render it became same green color for all the instances so in this time let's try the second method so first of all i will isolate the ceiling features first okay then what we need to do is just select object and make it unique so select object then make unique just need to press make unique all right so this is simple right so first thing first you have to you should save your object before you change those things so make sure you save as save selected in your in your in your folder in your working files after that you can start this process so i will repeat again select object and just press make unique okay so 
Normally, when you copy an object as instance, all the modifiers and the names will show as bold letter. But when you make when you make unique, it will become just a normal and thin letter. Okay, so now I got a lot of groups and a lot of different objects, so that I will need to open one by one and select one by one and make it unique so the difference between the first and second method is the first method will make you faster but you cannot get back all your parameters and all your adjustment as origin so if you want to retain your parameters of your objects you have to use the second method okay but it will take some time to uh, do this because if you have a lot of objects you will need to select one by one and make make it unique one by one all right so there are a few risks about that so if you don't have if you don't really have time then you should use the, the first method but of course you should keep your original models as backup and then you can use the first method it will be a lot faster than the second method all right so now i got a lot of different uh, objects and different materials different finishes that's why I will need to uh, do those steps. I cannot skip them if I want different colors. All right. So this is the second method. So after that, I can start rendering. But since I'm going through this project as an example, uh, let's fix the flooring also. So here, the flooring will follow, the flooring color will follow the ceiling colors. So if I got the yellow or orange ceiling, it will, should be, it should be the orange flooring and the need the orange ceiling. So let's isolate one of the flooring first. After that, I will unhide the name, the the floor plan and also the floor objects so you need to name them properly if if you want to have the faster process so so here i was using i'm using floor generator for the floor finishes and floor models so in that case i i can straight away change to a little poly all right so i will repeat the same process for the other objects as well so this kind of problem will occur when you're working on the big scale projects okay and yeah this is uh, the process that we cannot skip if we skip it we will not have we will not get what we want so make sure all the instant objects have to change to a different poly or make unique. So this is the key to solve this problem. Okay, so I got a few other instant objects. So I will do the same thing. Here I also have the Ottomans and some armchair on the different areas and I assigned different materials so in that case we will do the same thing select the object and make unique because I want to keep the parameters of the modeling so here we got a blue here we got a dark gray 
Ottoman and here we got a green one for this backrest we do the same thing so this is uh, very simple but if you don't know how to fix it you will need some time to explore and search for the solution in the internet on the internet all right so th this is a very simple example to fix it all right now i fix all the errors and let's export and synchronize to d5 render so in this step it is the same as what you what we usually do just press the synchronize button <clears throat> and then here boom so everything is corrected for the blue ceiling we got a blue flooring orange ceiling we got orange carpet okay all right so let's look around is there any other errors they have or not all right all the green area got the green carpet and the blue area also blue carpet the orange area as well and even the mesh ceiling have the different colors now this collaboration area also have different uh, ottomans the blue color and the orange and green color ottoman so this area also corrected so let's go and check for the platform area so as you see there all the ottomans has been corrected and also the seat cushion seats already corrected all right so here it is same as what we have done in 3d studio max now let's render it so this is the end and this is how we solve the problem all right so i hope you guys will be okay with this method and see you next time bye bye